All right, here we go. Question number 16 from our 1316. Homework number one in my lab math. They want us to find the exact value of the six trigonometric functions of the given angle. And so the first thing we're going to have to figure out is where the freak is 15 pi over 4 in the unit circle. Because 15 pi over 4 is not listed here, we're going to have to find it. So here's how we're going to find that. Uh, the first thing we want to do is notice that if I start at zero, going counterclockwise to 45 degrees, that is 1 pi over 4. So every increment of 45 degrees is going to be an increment of pi over 4, okay? So if I go another 45 degrees, 45 and 45 is 90, that's going to be 2 pi over 4, which is reduces to pi over 2, okay? So let's count 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4. Notice 4 over 4 is 1, gets us to 4 pi. All we have to do is do that 15 times, okay? So here's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. Bam. So 15 pi over 4 is going to be equivalent to 315 degrees. That's going to be equivalent to 7 pi over 4. But the important thing is that's going to give us these values for x and y. This is our ordered pair that we're going to use for 15 pi over 4. And now we can actually work the problem, okay? So we're going to have sine of uh, 15 pi over 4. Remember in the unit circle, sine is y. And the y coordinate of that ordered pair is negative square root of 2 over 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list them all over here, and then we're going to input them into my lab math. Cosine of 15 pi over 4. Sine is y. Cosine is x. And that's going to be square root of 2 over 2. How did I get that? That's the x coordinate from this ordered pair. Remember, everything comes off of this ordered pair at 7 pi over 4 because it's equivalent to 15 pi over 4. Now. For tangent of 15 pi over 4, remember I said for tangent that you want to flip the x, keep the y, then multiply. Flip the x, keep the y, and then multiply. However, those are going to cancel, which is going to be 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. Okay, so there's our first three trig ratios for sine, cosine, and tangent. And now we can get our cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So cosecant of 15 pi over 4 is going to be the recip rec reciprocal of sine, which is going to be negative 2 over square root of 2. And then if we rationalize that, that's going to be negative 2 square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so if you don't believe me, let's pull up the calculator. And if we flip that over, if we do negative 2 over square root of 2, I want you to notice that my calculator rationalizes that for you. Look at that, and I forgot to simplify it. So the calculator is going to check and make sure that I reduce to lowest terms also. Okay, nice to use the calculator and check. All right, now for secant of 15 pi over 4, that's going to be the same reciprocal but positive, so that's going to be positive square root of 2. And for cotangent, 15 pi over 4, that's going to be the reciprocal of tangent. 
but if I take negative 1 and flip it over, that's still just negative 1, okay? So there's my six trigonometric ratios. Let's see if we're right, okay? So answer A, sine of 15 pi over 4, that was negative square root of 2 over 2. Cosine was square root of 2 over 2. Tangent, negative 1. Oh, now be careful. Look, it jumped straight to cotangent. So make sure that you're inputting the answer they asked for. Cotangent was also negative 1. And then it's going to ask for secant, which was the positive square root of 2. And then cosecant last, which was negative square root of 2. There you go. All right, so I hope all that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.